Medical Disclaimer. I am not a medical doctor, nor do I have any formal medical training. All content found in this video, for example, text, images, audio, figures, etc., is for informational purposes only. This video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified healthcare provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you have heard, seen, or read about in this video. Hi, I'm Ashley. Today I'm going to show you how to do a subcutaneous injection in the abdomen for a B12 injection. I'm going to be talking through two different ways to do the injection, both at a 90 degree angle and at a 45 degree angle. If you have extra padding around your abdominal area, usually you can do a 90 degree injection, but if you're on the thinner side and you can't pinch enough fat, you will have to go in at a 45 degree angle. It's important to note too, when doing injections into the abdominal area, you need to use a shorter needle. Never ever use a one inch long needle or even a five eighths inch needle. I use a half inch long needle insulin syringe for my injections. Abdominal injections can be a little bit scary at first. I know before I did my first one, I was super squeamish about it. But once you get through that first injection, it's actually my preferred injection site now because it's so easy to access and it's relatively pain-free as compared to my thighs. So before doing my injection, I like to map out where I'm going to do the injection and place a dot with a pen. And if you haven't already seen my video on how to lay out your injection sites on your abdomen, you can go ahead and check out this video in the right-hand corner, which will show you how to make this injection site mapping for your abdomen so that you can properly rotate your injection sites. So I've got my syringe all prepared and now what I'm going to do is explain a little bit how to do the injection before actually demonstrating it. So first things first, make sure you dress comfortably. I've got kind of loose shorts on and like an exercise top. I like to tuck my shirt up underneath my bra so that I can have access to my abdominal area and my shirt won't fall down and contaminate the area after I've already cleaned it. You can see here that I've marked roughly where I'm going to go. I'm going to go a little bit to the side of that. So for me, I have enough fat in this area to pinch up and go in at a 90 degree angle. If you're on the thinner side and you can't pinch up as much as I can, enough to take in the whole needle, then you're gonna have to go in at an angle. Now there is one caveat here. Because I'm doing this to the right side of my belly button, if I were to go in at an angle, I would have to go in at this direction instead of this direction. Because if you remember from the abdominal injection site mapping video, you want to stay away from a two inch radius out from the belly button because there's so many blood vessels in that area. So if I were to inject at an angle in this direction, I would enter into that two inch zone versus injecting at an angle in this direction, it would take me outside of this zone. So that's just something to be aware of if you're choosing injection sites kind of close to the belly button and in parallel with the belly button. Above or below, you don't have to worry about which direction the angle of the injection is going in. So for this injection, I'm gonna go in at a 90 degree angle, and I'm gonna go in a little off to the side of this dot, probably a little bit lower as well, um, just so I don't have to go in at a 45 degree angle with my left hand. <laughs> Um, I'm right-handed, so doing injections with my left hand is a little bit trickier, so I will go in at a 90 degree angle. Another thing I want to note too, you'll notice here that I've got a bruise on my stomach. This is from a previous injection, so you want to kind of stay away from those areas uh, when doing your next injection, so I'm a good distance away, so this should be okay. All right, so I've got my injection all prepared and ready to go. If you're not sure how to prepare a shot yet, I'll link some videos here in the upper right hand corner on how to load up a syringe either from a regular multi-dose vial or from a glass ampule. And for those that are new to my channel and this is your first video, I'll be using a 28 gauge half inch 1 ml or 1 cc or 100 unit insulin syringe for the injection. And I'm going to be injecting the full dose, 1 ml. All right, so the first thing I like to do is I like to numb the injection site with an ice pack. My injection sites are getting a little bit sore because I've done so many injections at this point, so the ice pack helps to numb it. 
Alternatively, you can use a numbing cream called Emla cream in the United States. I'm not sure if it's available in other countries, um, but you can use that to numb the area prior to the injection. So we'll just hold it there for a little bit until it starts to sting. This is a blue ice pack, so this is not really the best thing to be doing for your skin, but it helps to numb the area. All right, that feels kind of numb. Then we're gonna take a tissue, lightly dab the area so that it's dry. Take your alcohol swab, start from sort of the center of the area where you're gonna inject and work your way out, which can be sort of hard to do as you see here. Let that dry, it's gonna take a little bit longer on cold skin. Make sure you have tissues, paper towels, or sterile gauze nearby in case you have a bleeder. Gonna take my shot. Now I'm gonna hunch a little bit to get more skin. Now I'm gonna slowly inject. Release the pinch just a little bit so that it's easier for the liquid to go in. Leave the needle in place, count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Pull it out, grab your tissue, apply light pressure, rub a little bit. I like to apply an ice pack after I'm done and hold it there for a couple minutes. I do have the tissue covering the injection site so that I don't hurt the skin with the ice pack. And that's it. So that's how you do a B12 injection into your abdomen. It's one of the easier injection sites to do. I think it's a good injection site for beginners if you have enough fat in the area. If you don't have enough fat in the area, there is a little bit of technique involved because you have to go in at an angle. For thinner people, I would recommend starting off with the thigh. I hope you found this abdominal injection demonstration video helpful, and I hope you have a smooth B12 injection experience. Bye.